Live and ATF Payroll. Today we are gonna process live and after the fact, or ATF payroll, in Drake Accounting. This tutorial assumes you have set up your client's employees, including the client's deductions and benefits, and employee setup in the employee module. If you need a refresher on how to set up employees or deductions and benefits, view the employee setup and or deductions and benefits video. From the client selector screen, highlight the client for whom you are processing payroll. On the left side of the screen, expand the employees module, then expand the payroll section. First, let's click on live payroll. You can click the column headers to sort the list by employee code or SSN. Selecting an employee starts a new check for that employee and the fields populate with the information you enter during employee setup. The pay period ending date defaults to the current date. Use the drop list to adjust the date and the new date is used for all subsequent checks unless you alter the date for other employees. If you do, that date is used for the checks entered after the date change. If the fields under rates and hours, earnings, and or withholdings need to be adjusted, click the field and make any necessary edits. In live payroll, the check date is required for employees who are set up for direct deposit and the no stub checkbox is selected on the right hand side of the screen. For all other employees, entering a check date carries through to the check print screen. Additionally, you can enter a memo up to 60 characters in length, which is displayed on the employee's check. If the employee has payroll in multiple locations, tabs are displayed for each location. If the employee is also set up to combine checks, there is a grand total tab which cannot be edited as the amounts in each field are populated from the combined amounts of each location. Verify the employee's hours, earnings, benefits, deductions, and withholding amounts for each location and make any necessary edits. If the employee did not work in a location for this period, click the X on the tab to disable that specific location for this period only. On the right-hand side of the live payroll screen, you can mark that the employee has health care or is FUDA exempt. There is also a mark printed checkbox. If you check this box, it means the check does not appear as a check to be printed under check print. You can check the test direct deposit checkbox to create a test transmission before actually transmitting direct deposits to our third party partner, CodaPay, for employees who receive their check via direct deposit. When you have reviewed and edited all applicable fields, click Save, then highlight the next employee to start processing his or her payroll. Let's take a look at the previous checks. Click to edit portion of the screen. This is where you can view the process payroll information for each employee. Prior to printing the check, only the pay period ending date and amount are listed. The check date and check number fields are empty until the check is printed. If any edits are needed before checks are printed, select the check that needs to be edited, make any necessary changes, then click Save. Live checks are not completely processed until they are printed. Go to Employees Check Print. If you have not set up Check Designer, a message displays stating there are no check designs available for use. If you need assistance setting up checks, please see the Check Setup video. On the Print Check screen, review the type of check stock, print options, check design, and printer options are correct and make changes as needed. If the check date was not selected on the live payroll screen, you must select a check date. Enter the starting check number if using pre-printed checks. Select electronic signatures from the drop list if signatures have been set up. Next, choose the type of payments to print. Direct Deposit prints the check with a watermark. A list of employee checks that have not been printed are displayed. Select all employees by checking the top box next to first name or select only certain employees to print specific checks. The printing order of the checks can be changed by clicking on the column headers. On the right side, Test Print Only prints the checks to ensure all of the information appears as expected, but the checks are not considered printed in Drake Accounting. Preview Checks Before Printing generates a print preview of the checks without actually printing the checks. To continue printing using this feature, select the checks you'd like to print, then click Print. A preview of the check displays. 
To print the text from the screen, click the Print Report button in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Please note, once the Print dialog box appears, Drake Accounting considers the checks printed. Once checks are considered to be printed, they are no longer visible in the Print Checks screen. If you need to reprint checks, click Reprint Checks and all previously printed checks display. To delete a check, go to the Live Payroll screen. Select the employee and all checks written to that employee appear in the previous checks, click to edit window. Highlight the check that needs to be deleted and click delete. Now let's look at ATF Payroll. This screen is almost the same as Live Payroll with just a few differences. In ATF Payroll, the check date is required and the check number is optional for all employees. The Mark Printed checkbox is automatically selected the field is inactive, and the check is considered to have already been printed. After reviewing the highlighted employee and making any necessary changes, click Save and repeat the process for all subsequent employees. For more information, visit accounting.drakesoftware.com.